Edmonton and another in the Husky Eastern Conference Final with a rookie netminder standing tall and finally a win in Game 4. Can the Moose Jaw Warriors keep their season alive on the road? The task is to bring the Oil Kings back with them to Moose Jaw. Five. Next championship series, what a thrill for Justin Pollock and Thompson Manitoba, his first WHL playoff win on Wednesday. Two starts in the WHL, he has stopped 52 of 54 shots in his face. That includes a game against Prince Albert at the end of the year. Big impact from big Cody B. He had two assists in game four, threw his weight around as well. He's got three. And I'm not so sure. And on that night, he just kept getting better and better. Well, they eased him in absolutely beautifully. He had five, six shots in the first period, eight shots in the second period, 15 in the third. Arguably, he made his best saves late in the hockey game with Musha already 4-1 lead. And then, you know, we ended up 28 saves on 29 shots. And, you know, and obviously the goaltender as well. Big hit by Dylan McElrath there on Travis Iwanek. Hey, this fight by Beach Clark Wilson, that was in early in the period. They get the first power play. What's more important to get? It gets a 1-0 uh, goal, uh, Braden Point. How about this 2-0 goal? Cam Bray's wide open net, and they make it 3-0 on the buzzer beater, Dan. Two seconds left in that period, 3-0. It ended up involved in a huge, huge way. How about a hip check? There? By the way, he's got to do all this in, within the rules. There's a penalty for the fighting, but he's got to stand up for his team. And there again, the shot, Bray's with a rebound. Hey, he helped Bray's get the monkey off his back <laughs> and then what a nice job he did uh, on this goal here and when you count the hits there's one hit he takes two hits coming up here and a third hit as he goes to the front of the net three times he's involved we stand on God for thee. God keep our land. for a week for that young man He's in Norman AAA Midget playing in a community arena. Then he goes into Moose Jaw in a WHL arena. And tonight, all of a sudden, he's in a National Hockey League building. Justin Pollock getting his first start on the road for Moose Jaw. Others feels his team has played better and better each of the four games. And you know, I, I, I agree with him. Uh, you know, from uh, way up at the top of the slot area. You see McElrath there. You may give up a shot. You may take a bad shot, a bad angle shot. He does a... There's Dylan McElrath. Wouldn't you avoid him? That's Black and blue, a lot easier does in the middle of the season. The beach, and he still stays on his feet. We're getting penalties here. Reinhardt and Beach in the box now for after the whistle. And on the goal here, Reinhardt just kind of handles it poorly. Back behind 11 games played for Sam Fioretti. So from the, you know, from the Warriors standpoint, it'd be very, very Good idea for Sam Fioretti possibly get going. Quentin Hound, I talked about him earlier, still looking for his first point in this series. And I'm not. It was a long time till that whistle went. I thought the shot was pushed wide, but apparently Pollock had it. Pollock in, but boy, he's facing a lot of rubber right now. 11 shots on goal. Real good position there. And TJ Foster, he's way back at the blue line. Look at him, he ends up in the front of the net. There's the traffic, there's the save. Lazar can't find the handle of it. You gotta get inside position in front of them if you're a defenseman. Warriors gotta do that Moose John net. Yeah, for a while there, see nobody. Yeah, Maxwell's just always gonna get the wall, knowing full well, well actually just before that, he just got rid of the puck at that point, but he knew he was gonna get hit there. And he just made sure that that puck was going out as Travis. Through one period of game five of this Husky Eastern Conference final, the Moose Jaw Warriors trailing the hometown Edmonton Oil Kings by a count of 2 nothing. With me is veteran warrior forward Cody Beach. And Cody, I thought you guys rallied and played a tremendous game at home on Wednesday. What didn't go right, especially early here in the first period? Yeah, we didn't uh, take that momentum that we had in uh, game four into this first 10 minutes. Uh, I think we got away from doing the things we uh, need to do to be successful. And uh, uh, from uh, the first 10, I think it carried on and it got a little bit better, but uh, we got more to come in the second. At times, your team has really created a lot of havoc, even for this Edmonton team in its own zone. You're going to have to do that in the last two periods. How have you done it, and how do you continue to go about that type of business? Yeah, we're not a fancy team. Uh, to be successful, we got to chip pucks in, we got to make their D turn, and we got to get to, to pucks first. Um, you know, we got to throw a lot of pucks on their goaltender. You know, he's been solid for them, and 
uh, has been bail bailing them out, but uh, uh, you know, if we can uh, get back to our game, we should be good. How key might this early second period power play be for your group? Yeah, if we can get one, uh, I think that's going to be huge momentum to uh, go into the final uh, 20 minutes. Cody, thanks for this. Uh, best of luck the rest of the way. Thanks, Pete. Cody Beach had a pair of assists in game four in the 5-1 win, and his team finds itself in a precarious position trailing game number five another do or die game andy by a pair after 20. so we've got fresh ice and a power play to start your comeback so how important is the first couple minutes here bill well hugely important i mean if you against an edmonton oil king team that only lost you know what five games on home ice during the regular season but having said that edmonton is killed back to the net it goes to beach Beach fighting off a check, throws it at the net, they score! The Warriors get back in the game, scoring the goals, it's thrown at the net. Just as the booster juice minute was happening, it's a reverse goal, it's Moose Jaw who gets back in the game. Yeah, you know, that was some definite zone time. There had to be almost a minute that the Warriors spent inside the Oil King zone, and when you've got the puck that long, you just a matter of time. Beach gets it to the net. Look at Fioretti on the position he has on Gurnett. There's no way that Gurnett can get, he loses his check. That's Gurnett against the back wall. And once Fioretti gets to that spot again on his forehand, he's hack, hacking, he's whacking at that puck number 11, gets it past Broussois. But that whole- Two, Moose Jaw one here on Shaw. Braden Point in our spotlight, and for good reason. We've mentioned many times, has a 15-year-old ever made a playoff impact like the one Braden Point has made? Recently turned 16, entered this particular evening, the product of Calgary, Alberta, seven goals, three assists for 10 points. Is Are the top three rookie scorers in the playoffs, and in my mind, true rookies. Lazar, 16 years old. Henrik Samuelson only played 28 league games. And the Braden Point we just talked about, as Peter told you, he's a 15-year-old hockey-wise. So top three, true wall, and get inside position on Gurnett. That is very clever. That is a hard work goal. Beach with good control right there. Fioretti off the back wall, recognizing that gets that position. That got him within one. That made it in this building from Brassois Creek. <laughs> he's got Velcro. And he'll be the highest ever Warrior drafted because to this point, it's been Ryan Smith who was taken sixth overall back in 1994. So, you know, Oregon Riley probably surpassed real shortly. So, a lot of reports to file through. There's Kent Miller, also a 20 year old cut by three Triple E. Back at full strength, they kill off that offensive zone elbowing penalty. How about Quentin Hound's possible future teammates on that Florida team that we saw last night versus New Jersey? Christopher Steig, Thomas Fleischman. Tom you just can't afford to do that when you're playing a team that has so much depth. The pad that you've shot out there and the post. Terrific job. Which would start here in Edmonton. If the Oil Kings hold on, they get home ice. Others to take this team. It's been a tough, tough Eastern Conference final here for them. They've run into a team, boy, and you knew it was going to be tough when you got a team with a one winning record that this Edmonton Oil King team has had. And I'm mindful of uh, those viewers in Lethbridge who saw Cam Brays play 345 games, and when he was traded, he was their captain, and we're mindful of those Giants fans who not all teams fight off elimination like they did. They came out, took matters into their own hands. They made lineup changes. Yeah, Riley, you gave it your best, buddy. A lot of character, young man. You could have certainly shut her down for the season. You didn't You didn't have to come back and play in the playoffs. And, and they kept building. Two nothing. By Mark. After a hiccup in game four, the Edmonds in game five, and they win the series by that time Thursday, Friday. And love to see 10,000 here. They had almost